a break from the record-breaking heat today, been hotter for the rest of the week, but next week actually doesn't look that bad. We'll talk more about it right after this. Temperatures are out of the record-breaking range today, but we'll be right back to it later this week, so unfortunately we can't get too excited. Today, though, the record is the same at DFW in Waco, 107 in 2010, but look, our normal temperature has dropped to 95. Unfortunately, the actual air temperature today is a little bit cooler, but the rest of the week won't follow this trend, but this does tell us, yes, we are getting into what is normally at least, cooler weather. I got a mailer yesterday about flu shots, so that's a sign that we're getting closer to fall, if I ever saw one. We take a look at the record watch, and a couple of interesting things happen here. Neither DFW or Waco will hit 105, so those numbers have not changed. Well, what has changed is the 43 days, uh, as of today here, of 100 plus degree heat at DFW. That is tied now for 9th. We will pass that tomorrow. And then 50 days, uh, 50 days, half a century point uh, over at uh, Waco for 100 degree plus days, which is tied for 11th. So tomorrow will be the new 9th and the new 11th in a row, and then we will actually start adding again to the Waco and DFW numbers in terms of those 105 degree days. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting exactly what the top number is in Waco, but I know that in DFW, we need seven more days at 105 degree heat in order to match or, or tie the number one spot. I'm not thinking that we're going to get there because I do believe that we will get, uh, it, we would have to go into September uh, to get more 105 plus degree days. We'll get close, but I'm not thinking that at least in terms of what we have during meteorological summer, June to August, I don't think we will tie that, but we could if we are able to get more 105 plus days in September. Hopefully we can't, and we're going to disrupt this trend come next week. We'll talk about that in a moment. Today's high is 103, and you notice normally down to the west and to the south, we normally have higher temperatures that way, but you actually get closer to the high pressure system when you go east. So 103 Waxahachie and Corsicana, 102 there in Cleburne and Hillsboro, and then I have all of us again right around 80 to 81 degrees overnight. Only heat advisories today, no excessive heat warnings. The excessive heat warnings are further to the east. We will take that around here. Unfortunately, the excessive heat warnings will be back for the rest of the week, so don't get too excited. No fire risk today either, at least not on this scale, but we do still have all of our burn bands in place because it is still very dry out there. Winds will be a little bit breezy today, but actually the winds cool the rest, of the, or calm down rather, the rest of the week. And that's good news for the fires, but not the best news for the ozone and the pollution in the air. So again, it's always a trade-off in summer. One thing helps, but another thing doesn't. So. We'll take a look at the tropics where things have calmed down significantly from where they were. We do still have Tropical Storm Franklin here. What's interesting is Franklin will head off towards open water, but then take a turn, and it's a little unclear what's gonna happen after that, but could head up towards New England and maybe Canada there, so they will have to keep an eye on that storm. But for the most part, the remnants of Emily here could redevelop into a low pressure system, and uh, you see Hillsboro up there, and that's uh, just the way I build these things. I wasn't able to take that off, and which, speaking of that, I actually have been manually adding Hillsboro to a lot of the maps. The system that I use, the program, doesn't list Hillsboro with Cleburne, Waxahachie, and Corsicana on the map until you really get close. I think it's because they're labeling I-35 right there and it's prioritizing the road mark, but uh, Hillsboro's not up there, but uh, that's just for me manually adding it into all these maps and all these different graphics because I want you guys there. 
but you're not in the North Atlantic, so just ignore that. But there could be another system developing here in the main development region that looks to move, again, more towards the eastern seaboard than our area. So not much happening in the tropics for us. We, of course, have the remnants of Harold off in the El Paso area, south New Mexico there. Going to continue to move to the northeast. Not really doing much for us today, uh, or really at all. And the heat wave continues in the middle of the country. Excessive heat warnings covering all of Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois. I mean, it's just hot out there. This high pressure system, they're starting to get a much better feel for what we've had. And remember that for the longest time, the high pressure system was centered over us for so long that all the storms were going from Colorado and Kansas all the way through Oklahoma down through uh, Louisiana. So now this has shifted eastward. So now they're getting the excessive heat. So this will build back westward though, and we will start getting those higher temperatures later this week. But there is a glimmer of hope in the forecast. 103 today. After today, we're back to 106, 107, 108 degree heat, just sweltering out there. So just be prepared as we get closer to the weekend, we will be cooking out there. Sunday, we start cooling down, could have some clouds in place. And then yes, changes coming in the forecast. Right now, I've, I've actually increased the temperature on Monday. Looks like, and I mentioned this yesterday, looks like the front will take a little bit of a longer uh, track here. We'll take a little bit longer to get here arrive a little later in the day will allow us to warm up a little bit more. I don't think that we get as hot as we could. It, right now it looks like it will still arrive sometime in the early to mid afternoon and disrupt our heating that day. But all that to say, we will still get fairly warm that day ahead of the front. And of course, the closer the front gets, you have that, uh, that uh, compressional heating, right? So we will have to watch that. It could be kind of tough to figure out exactly how warm we'll get that day, but Hey, it's a cold front and we'll take it. So 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms with that as well. I think we could see a few storms along there. And then Tuesday, I've got clouds, northeast wind. I've got us at 97 degrees. That could go down a little bit. It's possible. I don't know how likely that is, but it's possible that the temperature for that day could drop a little bit. And then I'm going to definitely keep an eye on the forecast for the rest of next week. One model says that the front moves northward again as a warm front by Wednesday and Hey, we get maybe one day of cooler temperatures before we start warming up again. The other model says that most of next week we'll have north winds and cooler temperatures. So we will keep an eye on that and bring more updates to you as we get closer.